What is going on everybody? Welcome back. MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So as you can see, this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I've made extensive content on the channel. You already know that, but I want to share my thoughts about this device four months later. And spoiler alert, it's still really good. It's holding up very well. So without further delay, let's dive right in. Starting off with design. Design has held up fairly well. It's still very beautiful and very great to hold in the hand. However, there's one thing that I've noticed uh, in the past four months is there are sometimes in instances where I rock this phone without a case. And you may not be able to see on screen right here, but there are some small scratches on the back of the device. Now, Gorilla Glass Victus 2, for me, it hasn't been very well. There's also some scratches on the screen. Like, I don't remember getting any scratches on the S22 Ultra, but S23 Ultra has a lot of scratches, and it's just unbelievable. Uh, and I don't like using screen protectors. Maybe if this display was completely flat, I would, but I just don't. And I got a lot of scratches. I make sure I don't carry any coins, and I don't carry my keys in my pocket, and I still somehow got it scratched. And I'm very careful with how where I place my device. I don't place it uh, on its display. So I don't know how that happened, but anyway, it did. Nonetheless, though, like the actual display itself, like the quality of uh, content, watching videos, using it for daily tasks, it's still amazing. Watching content, playing games, Call of Duty, whatever it is you do on your phone, this is and a beautiful display, amazing display. It's very visible outdoors in sunlight up to 1750 nits of brightness. That's very good. I don't think you need to have the most bright, the most brightness, like 2500 nits of brightness. It'd be great if you did in this phone, but you don't. 1750, still very good. Now, before I do continue, I just want to say that I'm sponsoring this video uh, mainly with uh, my store page with my desk mat and some other accessories you can pick up. I do have a mug right here that I use uh, while I'm getting work done at my desk. This is a different setup than what we usually have. I'm not in the studio. And also my latest wallpaper pack, it's called Jello. I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Now moving on to performance. The S23 Ultra paired with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy. 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage in my model has proven to be quite compelling. Hasn't hiccuped at all. Like in my four months of using this phone, there hasn't been an instance where the phone slowed down or has given me any types of hiccup whatsoever. And I am a heavy user. And that means I'm constantly watching YouTube videos. Like when I say I'm constantly watching YouTube videos, I really am like I'm multitasking, have a YouTube video open on one on the top half and the bottom half. I'm doing something else and getting work done uh, while being productive at the same time. Or I'm playing Call of Duty when I have some spare time, sending frequent emails for uh, the channel, texting, browsing the web, social media work and much more. And what I can tell you is that if you're looking for a device that is a powerhouse, this device will not let you down. Now. In regards to the S Pen, I don't really talk about this too much uh, because it's a feature of the phone that I don't really use every single day, but I use it for signing documents or taking quick notes like a to-do list. And it comes in very handy knowing that I have this. And I do believe that the Galaxy S23 Ultra has the necessary optimizations to last more than three years, both in hardware and in software. Like if you pick up this device as your main device uh, and you're not switching phones too often like myself testing new phones this is it then i can guarantee three years plus this will still hold up like a champ both in hardware and in software that's going to lead me into the camera quality i can only tell you so much because like i'm not a phone camera oriented person however i know that if i need to take photos the 200 megapixel camera sensor right here on the back it's not going to let me down in etiquette daylight and even in night photos, the results are very punchy and saturated, just the way Samsung prefers, and I kind of like it. Now, the one feature I love is the 100x zoom. I thought I wouldn't find any use for it, but I was wrong. 
And now that I know I have it, its presence is here, I'm always taking photos of things that may be far away. As for video, it's good to know that the Galaxy S23 Ultra can record in 8K because one day I may need that 8K footage for my YouTube videos. Let's talk about the battery life. Battery life with the Galaxy S23 Ultra was literally one of the main reasons why I loved this phone when it first came out. And four months later, it still lasts me the entire day. However, I can tell you as a heavy user, I have noticed the slight decrease in overall battery performance. For example, like the phone would last me until 10 p.m. each night on a heavy day when I first uh, got the phone. Now it's lasting me until 9.30, like a 30 minute decrease. Sometimes it's less like 9.40, 9.45, but I've seen it go like a 30 minute decrease. And it may be less, but I can still rely on the battery life. Like, the uh, battery itself has deteriorated four months later, but it's it's still a champ. Like I can still rely on it. And if you're a light user who won't be using their phone throughout the entire day, I can tell you that the S23 Ultra is not going to let you down. Like the optimization with One UI, with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy, plus the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's a huge plus. Keep it up, Samsung. I hope they're bring great battery life to the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the Z Flip 5, and also its successor, S24 Ultra, when that comes out next year. Let's head into pricing with this device. So while the price of the S23 Ultra, it's quite expensive at $1199 retail price, this phone always goes on sale, and I'll be leaving a link in the description down below. Uh, you'll be able to find some really good deals through Samsung's website. Like, I've seen the phone drop to $9.99, and in some cases, $8.99 at one point. That still is expensive. I'm not saying it's not. It's still an expensive phone, like $900, even $1,000. But with a two dollars to $300 discount, it gives more of a reason to pick up this stellar device. Not only that, if you're located in the US, you can always find a great carrier deal that's probably going to knock off even more, like half off or even more than half off for the S23 Ultra. So overall, I mean, I love my Galaxy S23 Ultra and I will be using it for the foreseeable future. And throughout the four months, there have been other phones I tested and I've still come back to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, of course, being a tech reviewer, I'm like, at this point moving forward, I'm going to be checking out upcoming phones. However, in the past four months, like I said, I've always come back to this device. In fact, I will continue to recommend the S23 Ultra because in my opinion, this is one of the best smartphones currently on the market. I'm gonna say it again, in my opinion. So just putting it out there, this is my opinion. I think this is one of the best smartphones currently on the market, especially the US market. Like we don't have too many options. We don't have Xiaomi's here. We don't have uh, different types of uh, brands here. We only have so much. So I think this is it in the US. The S23 Ultra, it's a device that proves we don't need a drastic visual improvement every single year, but rather improvements in the necessary departments that will enhance the user experience. So yes, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is worth it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot. I will help push my content out to more people. And definitely be sure to check out my latest wallpaper pack and also my channel store where I have a bunch of different products. I have shirts, I have sweatshirts, I have desk mats, I have cups like this, and I absolutely love them. Definitely be sure to check them out in the link down below and also on my channel page. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.